this has got to be the hardest camping trip I've ever done. Within the first day, we ran out of water. We got there, I didn't realize there wasn't, there wasn't any drinking water and the ovens there don't reach ever reach boiling point. So yeah, we only had wine. So the next day, very dehydrated. Uh, we thought we were gonna die and luckily a local came along to sort the toilet out and we just asked her, her, her we were like, we, is the water okay to drink? Like, can we drink it? And she was like, definitely not. Just wait until I finish my shift, I'll come back and bring you some water. And the shop is like a two hour walk away. And I was like, okay. So yeah, she came back an hour later, gave us the water and then we were, we were good. So yeah. And then we got quite bored after a couple of days and we, um, our cooking was pretty bad. So we, we did end up going to um, the shop and you know, it's like a two hour walk there. A two hour walk back, I'm not kidding. It is a long, long walk. Um, from these walks, we'd often like flag down drivers and try and get a lift, which we did. We actually, we managed to get a couple, a couple hitchhiking rides. Yeah. And it felt pretty safe because, um, although there was absolutely no CCTV on the island, I think it's kind of a place where everyone knows everyone. And there's like only like, there's under a hundred people who live there, you know. <laughs> French island um, just outside of Melbourne. Uh, so here we have found this brilliant plant here which is very salty but we're going to pick some and boil it up later to go along with our beans or soup or whatever we're having as veggies in. So, yeah. You want to try some? Yeah, sure. Is it sweet? What is it? Like salty. Salty. Mm. I realized I should have chosen some younger ones. That's oh, why? Ones. Just because the stem is a little bit hard. Oh, okay. Yeah, a bit hard. You can throw it in my Here it is. Uh, some tomato soup with the stuff in it. <laughs> And <laughs> some toast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 